So what's happening, man? So. <clears throat> As someone from the land before time that's known as the 90s, one thing I learned growing up that the government don't really take too kindly to, for whatever reason, <coughs> is people having guns, People having a lot of guns, and especially organized groups of people having large amounts of guns. <clears throat> if you look back on Ruby Ridge, right? In a way, I wouldn't say it's the more interesting of between Ruby Ridge and Waco, but it's it's weird. Because, like, what was the point of the, like, I get motherfuckers had a warrant for something, right? Forget if it was for firearms or what it was. There was some type of warrant they went to go serve. But it's like, if you look at everything involved in it, it's like, but why? Why all that just for basically three people you brought an army? Like, I, I get, like, show of force, whatever the fuck. It's a lot of it's a psychological tactic. <laughs> but <clears throat> you like a lot of people probably be like, why am I as someone who's not a registered firearm or arm owner saying hold hold court in the street? Cause what happened at Waco? they held court in the street. And if you were to ask anybody, I'm pretty sure, I mean, aside from people who work at different bureaucracies on camera, even them off camera, I feel like they'd be like, yeah, them, them Branch Davidians was fucking our shit up. I mean, you had how many ATF agents just get hit in the first few days? There's a reason they called Delta Force. Because they, they wasn't, them ATF motherfuckers wasn't ready. So, thankfully, it seems all this shit might be about to get sorted out. Um, legally, so it's not going to come to that. But, I always ask myself, like, what the fuck is the point of like why are they why do they not like that so much? Are they like scared you gonna go start another government and like secede from them? Like that's the one that they really don't like. You get a bunch of guns and a bunch of people that are like listening to what you say. They fucking hate that shit. I'm pretty sure that might have been what happened with Malcolm X. I'm not sure though, but yeah, when you get a bunch of guns and people. I mean, because on paper, what was David Koresh doing? What was he doing that was so bad? Was he killing anybody? Okay, he had some weird things he was doing with his little cult and whatnot. They weren't doing no Manson family shit. You see what I'm saying? Charles Manson could do everything he was doing up in there in them hills, and nobody cared till what happened. Till someone who's a fucking... A uh, movie producer, fugitive from justice, and sex offender, wife and kid were murdered. Yeah. Uh, for those of you who don't know, fucking, the fuck was her husband's name? Sharon Tate. Uh, fucking Roman Polanski, he's a sex offender. So in the fuck, he's, he's a fugitive from justice. <laughs> like, he, I can't say a sex offender because he, he fled from basically his trial where he knew he would likely be convicted. So other thing too, like how how is he just allowed to just be chilling in fucking France and Poland? Like it's crazy. It's crazy. So yeah, anyway, man. Remember what I said because look how long it took for after Waco held court in the street, right? How long did it take for them to get killed by the ATF? Sixty something days, I think. It might have even been longer than that. I know it was at least 60 something days though. So that's my, I think they realized like, yo, this really not feasible. 
even if we put them all in jail, we don't have we don't have enough jail for that many people. <laughs> I'm out of this bitch, man.